Warning, this video contains stunts that were performed under the supervision of professionals. Do not attempt to reenact or recreate any stunts or activities you see in this video. This show contains scenes that some viewers may find disturbing. We're at the compound, <laughs> Saturday morning, and everybody's ready to fucking thrash. 9.30 in the morning, there's already one stunt set up. A case of beers cracked into. I know what you're saying. What? Some fucking sh but f bullshit. Dude, it's gonna be the longest day. Why? Because it's only 9.30. It's gonna be a heavy day. It's pretty much a heavy life. So stoked, finally got this new house under my belt. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad for helping me out all these years. Woo, finally getting my some of my decorations in here. I got my Herod soft top, some, some of my family portraitures on the wall, and <laughs> this is crazy. Oh yeah! Ah! Ah! I broke my leg. Fuck! 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 I broke my leg. Fuck! Yeah, I did, dude. No, you did it. Fuck yeah, I did, dude. My knee, my fucking knee. It was completely out of place, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not good. You're not good. Chill, dude. Fuck I'm, I'm you. Chill. Fuck you. No, no, no. Bam, 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 bam. I feel, dude. Chill, dude. Chill. chill. No, no, no. Chill. What do you mean I'm not good? Like, come on, chill. I'm fucking fine. Just, dude. No, dude. We gotta go to the fucking hospital. No shit, but I'm fine, dude. I tore something. I didn't break it. It's fucking stupid, dude. Fuck. After a fucking while, I hate this shit. Jump too soon, dude. I'm cutting your jeans off. Fuck you, dude. I'm fine. I no, can't ben. walk it off, but I'm fine. No, Here. man, dude. I'm fine. I broke my leg, dude. I don't even want to do this shit anymore. More though, dude, it's not worth it, dude. For real, that's dude, stupid. It was a fine stunt, dude. No, it's dumb. This is shit's dumb, dude. Chill, dude. Let me lay. No, because I'm you hurt. have a fucking real life, dude. Oh man, my ligaments are fucked up, dude. You're not good, dude. Oh, why did I land like that, man? I fucked up, Robert. It's not cool, dude. Oh, uh, uh, I'm in pain, dude. Fuck. I knew it was bad. Ooh, I can't move my leg. I can't move my knee. I can't move it. Dude, it's like depressing, dude. I felt my knee pop through the front of my leg, you know? Fucking so heavy, dude. dude I'm so over you getting hurt for no reason. What do you mean? I did a stunt, dude. That's how we do it. I'm hurt. I'm really hurt. <laughs> hospital. landed really low. I can't go I'm hospital, hospital knee surgery, a whole deal. <laughs> right, I'm in a fib now, dude. I feel so sick. I'm tripping, dude. <laughs> See how this is here? Uh -oh. Wait, stop. See how this is here? It's missing there. That's knee surgery. Fuck! Hmm. Chill, dude. I'm just, just saying. fucking chill for You're a second. Animal, Fuck. This is bone. This is bone. It's fine. I feel my shin. Dude, I can't look at that. Oh, shit. I know what happened. It's done, dude. It's my kneecap's up. up here. It's gone, dude. Stop. Fuck, dude. I need it. surgery. Fuck, dude. Fuck. 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 I got really fucked up. Swallow it's it. insane. <laughs> I can't hang it though. The muscles tense up. <laughs> no shit. I can't Come do on, shit. Lady. Well, I'm, I can't hop because I don't you, know. Like, get on I don't my know. shoulder or something. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, jeez, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because I don't want to be scared. That's. Well, why would that's, you be scared? I'm saying if I hit my neck, I'd be scared. Oh, I'm that's not worried about I'm not worried about the injury. I'm worried about like you being depressed about your serving career and then dude, acting I like a faggot. I don't get depressed. <laughs> but I'm just saying like if you change your mindset and like start to turn into like a fucking civilized human being. Why didn't I belly flop, dude? Oh yeah! It's about five hours after my stunt gone wrong, my fail, and uh, I actually don't want to film this. It kind of makes me feel sick, but I feel that it's my duty to film this, so I'm going to look at my knee for the first time in five hours. It's Saturday, so I can't get a doctor's appointment until Monday. Wow. Ugh. And I'm gonna have to sit around like this for two days. Holy shit.
Are you seeing that, dude? I've seen it. I know what? it. So I know what it looks like. You're talking about this right here. What about it? That's the fucked up part, right? No. What do you think? Are you serious? Yeah. No. I know. I, I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure out what's fucked up. What's all this? My kneecaps stuff? all the way up here instead of but here. None of your bones fucked up. Actually? No. Which is good. All your bone is just fine? Yeah. I'll look what at it. What do you think you go and look, look at? at it in the morning. Officially day two. Still extremely swollen. Maybe even getting more swollen. Right now I'm taking an Epsom salt bath, which is supposed to relax all your muscles and everything about your body. Tub's really hot, but I'm supposed to sit in here for 20 minutes. And it's really weird. When I'm in here, my leg is in absolutely zero pain. But like earlier when I was on the couch, it started aching. But it seems like it aches when it's just been in the same position for too long. I have a doctor's appointment and hopefully an MRI tomorrow. But until then, just got to wait it out. Right now, we just got in the car. I just hobbled out here to go to Rothman Institute in Philadelphia. Pretty damn good doctor. I'm not in that much pain, but it's just like really annoying. Like it's hard to focus on anything else except for the fact that my leg is killing me. I looked up ACL surgery online and uh, recovery time is long, four to six to nine months. And uh, that's a bummer, but aside from surfing, skating and stunts, I still have editing, filming, making music, playing music, so uh, I'll be able to keep myself occupied, but uh, four to six months is a long time to be out of the water. That's my biggest fear. When I first went to the doctor, I broke, I got hurt on a Saturday, and I didn't make it to my orthopedic surgeon until Tuesday in the doctor's office at the Rothman Institute in Philly, and I'm just waiting for the doctor right now. I got some x-rays. And I'm pretty much just in severe pain. When I got there, the orthopedic surgeon was absolutely livid that we didn't go to the hospital. He informed us, which me and my mom didn't know, that whenever you dislocate your knee, which I did to cause this injury, you can actually pinch the blood vessels all around your knee or tear them. And um, my knee was actually so swollen that he was afraid that I tore a blood vessel and I had blood pumping into my knee. Now, which what happens when this occurs is you end up with lack of blood flow to the rest of your leg below your knee and you can get something called necrosis where parts of your leg actually and your tissue start dying and very unfortunate people who have had this injury have to get their leg amputated so we had to rush over to the hospital and get an MRI MRA which took about eight hours of waiting <clears throat> and another couple hours of stress going up to the machine getting it done they had a blurry image so I had to come down and get it back done again so we pretty much stressed out in the hospital for 12 hours to make sure that the blood flow in my legs was good and um, it ended up that everything was fine but that was a really scary day so like I'm in a lot of pain right now. I just left the emergency room. I just got some good news and some bad news. I just was in the ER for seven hours getting tests on my blood vessels and my legs to make sure that they worked properly. I am thanking God right now. I can't even believe how happy I am. I have three tears in my knee. Um, I need surgery, but oh my God, the vessel test is huge for me. Life-changing moment for me right there. Life changing. Thanks to my mom. Thanks to my dad. Thanks to my brothers and my sister. And everyone who supports me. Whew, stressful fucking day. <sighs> That's something that when you're doing a stunt you never think about like you say to yourself, you know, I'm doing this stunt, yeah, I could break a bone, I could hurt myself, but you never think that if you land wrong on your knee and dislocate it, you could actually end up losing your leg. So, uh, that's definitely food for thought. If I'm not going to sit here and tell people not to do things because 
I mean, me and my brothers have been doing insane stuff for years, but if you are going to do this kind of stuff, make videos, do stunts, you know, you got to know what you're getting into. So you should definitely be very cautious of the human body, how it works. You should um, have knowledge on medical things, what happens when you break bones, what happens when you tear ligaments and all that, and just know what you're getting yourself into because you don't want to be messing around one day in the backyard and end up with a life-threatening injury like I could have and I luckily didn't so I don't know I mean you don't have to exactly listen to me because I'm the one in the in the boat here that got hurt but if you're thinking about doing this you know you should become educated right now it's five in the morning we're getting up it's the day of my surgery for my knee I'm getting my patella tendon repaired I have to be at the surgery center at 8 a.m. at the Navy Yard in Philadelphia we're going to leave here in about 45 minutes to get there on time. Um, not really nervous to get surgery, more excited because that means I'll be one step closer to starting my recovery. When you tear your patellar tendon, it's the tendon in your leg that attaches to your patella, which is your kneecap, which is attached to your femur, the top bone of your leg. And on the bottom, it's attached to your tibia which is the big bone in the bottom of your leg. So without your patellar tendon, you cannot walk. Uh, what? All right. We're about to leave for the surgery center. Woke up this morning and saw on surfingmagazine.com that Sean Barney Barron died. Pretty weird, interesting feeling going to get surgery today. Michael Sakati at Rothman did the surgery and he drew me a diagram of what Ben's knee looked like prior to the surgery. Jefferson Surgical Center. Where? Mom. Yo! The hell why is this guy beeping at me? Because you're in the middle of the road stopping. <laughs> oh, stop. This is his patellar tendon. It was shredded in here on an angle. 7 a.m. March 6, 2015, we're at the Jefferson Surgical Center. I'm going in to get my patellar tendon repaired. Up to the medial <coughs> patellar retinaculum was shredded up here, and lateral patellar retinaculum was shredded up here. Man, we're together. Just stop for a minute. It's not a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dr. Sakati's rendition of his repair. What he did was he cut the patellar tendon the right length evenly across in the middle with smooth straight lines. He took stitching and he went up in a box form twice on the top of the tendon and twice on the bottom and made squares. I'm waiting for the doctor. They're gonna give me a nerve blocker, put my leg to sleep, put me to sleep, repair my patellar tendon. I'm a little nervous. I've never had surgery like this. Then he took a drill and drilled into Ben's patella, up into the hole in the patella, through the tunnel, and back down and attached it. And then he did the same at the bottom with the tibia. He drilled a hole, drilled a tunnel, another hole, and brought really thick stitching down into here. Hey! Oh my gosh. Hi. He's wasted. This is what he did. One. Right, that's how many stitches we have in there, and he drilled through both okay. of your he will have to keep his knee straight for six weeks. You cannot bend this for six weeks or it will stretch the tendon again or even tear it. Do you want to see this? He's... Okay, I don't know. I'm so hurting. You're wasted. Oh my gosh, I hate this. I hate it. Like this, and they have loops on them. They went on the bottom part like this and this with a loop. See? You have your crutches, Ben? If Ben does everything that he's supposed to do, he could have 90 to 95% return for the use of his leg and his knee. So we're hoping for that. Yeah. Can I ask you something about your aspirin? Because I seem to have different I know, I know I'm cooked. I've been told that uh, it's like 1 a.m. I know I'm cooked wasted right now, Jess, but I'm literally in an easy tent. Tent pain, tent. It's understandable. I thought I was going to wake up on surgery, but 
Oh, God. Well, how would you ever think that, hon? He cut open your leg, drilled into your bone, and, and, and trimmed your tendons. What? What? You mean trim? He trimmed your tendons. That's it. <laughs> I miss you. You miss me? I'll be able to take care of you. Uh, and guess what? I get to sponge bath you for a whole three weeks. Don't talk to Ready the ice cream. <laughs> this has been gravy. I just went out of my surgery. I'm in excruciating pain. Let me give you this chart. Yeah. <clears throat> Just more than I don't know what else to say. So after surgery, which was about five days ago, I had a couple, one really, really painful night. I didn't sleep. I pretty much rolled around and moaned all night. Yesterday I went cold turkey off the Percocets, so I'm feeling a lot more in reality. When you're on those things, you're kind of just like zombied out. You don't really know what's going on. You sleep a lot. I just got out of surgery at Jefferson. Everything was good. Successful surgery on my knee. I got out of there and I was just in so much pain. More pain than when I heard it. More pain than I've been in the past 10 days. I have no idea how that's even possible. I think I'm high on some weird shit. you need anything else? Do you need more pillows? I'm really good, Jess, thanks. I'm feeling pretty good on minimal pain. But really, it's going to just be a long journey. I'm, I'm stuck on the couch for the next month. But I see the doctor in a week, and he's going to update me on my situation, which I'm excited about. It's such a peaceful and calming step in the recovery process to not be in pain anymore, to not be in constant pain. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's I can just, like, relax and edit and do whatever I need to do, like go and get coffee without being just in excruciating pain. There was a couple nights before I got surgery and after that I just laid there pretty much moaning to myself like I couldn't do anything about it. Obviously I did this in a very stupid way, filming a stunt. I mean, was it worth it? For me, I would say no. It, it definitely wasn't. I pretty much sacrificed my ability to walk. I sacrificed my surfing career and just my ability to have all the fun that I have in my life with skateboarding and, I mean, walking around, honestly. Um, I did it filming for our TV show in Britain. A lot of people might think that that is, like, cool to get hurt for TV, but... I can assure you, this is not cool at all, being like this. Um, now, that doesn't mean that I don't think that if people want to do stunts for a dream or for a career in their life, you know, or make videos, I, I wouldn't want to ever discourage that because I think people should have the freedom to do whatever they want. So like for for this stunt, I just I wasn't ready. I was I had a million things on my mind. I was editing a million projects, planning so many different things. I was about to go on a trip to Montana. I um I was just distracted. I just think that people should know what they're getting into. If you're gonna do stunts for YouTube or for movies or anything, I think you should know what you're getting into. Um, you can get really hurt. The signature blend, but it's too crazy, makes you feel wild. Pulling up to the banner. Oh, it's really cool. Really cool. It's big, and you can really see it. 